Hey planner friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a special Christmassy collab with Kat from Peace Love Plans. So I'll be planning from the 14th to the 20th of December in my annual passion planner. Let's get festive. So the kit we're using for this collab is Christmas Eve from Planner Face and we both PR for Planner Face so you can use code RA10 or CAT10 to save yourselves 10% at checkout. Let's get into the questions. So the first question is when do you start getting excited for Christmas and I kind of start planning for Christmas at the beginning of November but I don't let myself do anything Christmassy until December 1st. I'm one of those people who can get really like over Christmas and just get exhausted by it. I'd say I actually start getting excited for Christmas around the week before when I'm coming to the end of work for the year. <laughs> The next question is what do you enjoy most about Christmas and for me it's got to be seeing my family and eating as much food as humanly possible. Obviously this year I'm not going to be able to see family which is kind of sucks but I'm still going to get lots of good Christmas food. The next question is do you still have advent calendars and yes I do. I have a vegan chocolate one this year although I kind of wish that I'd got a planner advent calendar as well but there's always next year. Question number four is, do you send out Christmas cards? And nope, I haven't sent Christmas cards since I was in like primary school, I don't think. It's just not my sort of thing. Question number five is, do you travel at Christmas or stay at home? So up until the year before last, I would always travel for Christmas. We'd always all go up to my nan's, but since we bought our house, we decided that last Christmas, we would spend it with just me and my boyfriend for the first time ever. And this year we don't really have a choice. So <laughs> we're not traveling for this Christmas at all. But yeah, I think staying at home for Christmas is going to be our new normal. It's really fun at the moment to start making all of these traditions for ourselves. Question number six is, do you go to any Christmas parties? And I honestly laughed when I saw this question because obviously not this year we don't. But usually we head down to see some family friends for their annual Christmas open house, which is always really fun. And um, then there's usually like office parties and stuff like that, but they're usually a bit hit or miss, so I don't always go. I'm gonna combine questions seven and eight because seven is do you decorate your house and eight is when do you put up your Christmas tree? And the answer to both of those things is yes, December 1st. We don't have like a massive amount of decorations at the moment because as I said, we moved like last year and we moved from a small flat into a house. So I want to just gradually start building up our Christmas decorations so it's more of the whole house because our old flat was basically two rooms. Question number nine is, do you have a real or a fake Christmas tree? And we have a fake one. It's like seven years old and it's quite small when you look at it in our new house. But I don't want to throw it out because it's plastic and it still works fine, does the job. It is also a black plastic fake Christmas tree with like fiber optics. So goth points. Question 10 is what tops your tree and I get more goth points here because the most glittery thing I own is a Jack Skellington tree topper, which I'll put a picture of if I remember. The next question is how long do you leave your decorations up for? And I take my decorations down on January the 6th. So my mum always used to do it. I think it's got something to do with the wise men arriving in the nativity, but it could just be a day that my mum's plucked out of the air. Like that's it, that's enough Christmas for this year. Take it all down. Question number 12 is, do you have any Christmas Eve traditions? And as I've mentioned, we're actually in the process of finding what we want our traditions to be um, with me and my boyfriend. But every Christmas Eve, I have to watch them up at Christmas Carol. It's the correct day to watch it. Don't find me about it. And we've taken a tradition from my boyfriend's family of giving each other pajamas as a present that we open on Christmas Eve to wear on Christmas Eve and in the morning of Christmas day. Question number 13 is, do you open your Christmas presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? And we go for Christmas morning, apart from obviously the pyjamas as I just mentioned. Question number 14 is, what is the best Christmas present you've ever received? And all I've written in my notes is, um, I have no idea. So that was helpful past me. Uh, so I don't know whether like, I don't know how you rate a best Christmas present. Like, is it the one that you get the most use out of? Or is it the one that's like the most personal? Because like, I guess the one I've got the most use out of from last year was my 2020 planner. But I don't, I just don't know. How do you judge what's the best Christmas present? 
Question 15 is which do you prefer, giving or receiving presents? And I really love giving presents, but it always makes me kind of anxious because I have anxiety and that sort of unknown is, yeah. I'm also not great at receiving presents because I'm really bad with surprises and that also makes me anxious. So gift giving and receiving, both anxious all the time, but it's fine, it's Christmas. Festive anxiety. Question number 16 is, as a kid, what was the one crazy, wacky, extravagant gift that you always asked for but never received? And I really struggled with this question as well because I was one of those kids that would just like pretty much go through the Argos catalogue and be like, this, this. I never really asked for anything that crazy. It was just like stupid expensive toys, probably. I was really thinking I wanted a horse for a bit, but who didn't? Question number 17 is, when and how did you learn about Santa Claus? I'm pretty sure that I just kind of worked it out eventually. Too many things didn't add up, you see. And eight-year-old Natalie was very skeptical. Question 18 is, did you take part in school plays at Christmas? And yes, I went to Catholic primary school, so I was in every single nativity as a child, uh, gracing the stage with roles such as villager number two, and then moving on up as I got older to the star, and eventually Mary for my brownie packs nativity when I was in year six. When I played the star in a nativity, uh, we had a real donkey which decided to poo all over the stage, and I had to guide this donkey, but also dodge the piles of Poo, which was super fun, <laughs> or at least memorable. Question number 19 is, talk us through your typical Christmas day. So I wake up when I want, and then we normally start the day with mimosas, with breakfast, and then we will open presents, and then I would usually hang out with my family, but this year it's obviously gonna be like some sort of video chat, whatever. And then we eat Christmas dinner around three in the afternoon. It's one of those things where we aim for two and actually end up eating at three. Then most of the time have a small nap to digest, and then wake up and eat some more, watch some cheesy Christmas TV or movies, and usually play like board games. Uh, one year I took Cards Against Humanity and it was half my family was appalled, the other half found it hilarious. And then fall asleep and that's pretty much Christmas. We normally go for like a walk or something on Boxing Day but Christmas Day is inside the whole time. Question number 20 is what do you eat for Christmas dinner? So I normally get some sort of vegan roast alternative and then have a pile of vegetables including maple glazed parsnips and carrots and yeah, loads of veggies, sage and onion stuffing is always a winner, uh, plus as many potatoes as I can physically fit in my face and that's one of the most important bits. And then for dessert, we don't normally get like a proper traditional Christmas pudding or anything like that. This year we've got a sticky toffee pudding. Normally I would try and bake something, but because Christmas is on a Friday, I'm not gonna have time to bake anything for Christmas day, which I would normally like to do, but I'm working all the way up to Christmas Eve. Question 21 is, what's your favorite thing to eat during the Christmas holidays? And my favorite thing is Lebkuchen, which is like gingerbread cookies covered in um, like icing or chocolate. They're my favorite. The second that they came out in the supermarkets this year, I started eating them and haven't really stopped. Question 22 is, what is your favorite Christmas scent and gingerbread? If the whole house smells of gingerbread cookies, I am a happy, happy girl. Question 23 is, what are your favorite Christmas movies? So Muppet Christmas Carol is hands down my favorite Christmas movie. I watch it every single year. I also love Nightmare Before Christmas. I have a Nightmare Before Christmas themed Christmas tree. And last year I watched Love Actually for the first time ever and Loki really enjoyed it. Question 24 is, what are your favorite Christmas TV shows? Now, I used to always watch like the Doctor Who Christmas special and stuff like that, but my favorite thing to watch on TV at Christmas is those old Morecambe and Wise Christmas specials. They're always on the TV at my nan's and they properly remind me of Christmas as a kid. Question 25 is, what are your favorite Christmas songs? So my go-to is always Slade, Merry Christmas everyone. Just if you wanna scream, it's Christmas for no reason. You just listen to that song and you can. And then my other favorite Christmas song is By The Darkness and it's Christmas time, don't let the bells end. Question number 26 is, have you ever been to any carol concerts? And as I said, I went to Catholic school, so I've not only been to carol concerts, I've been in carol concerts, quite a few of them, singing and in orchestras every single year from year seven to year 13, I think. Question number 27 is, have you been to any pantomimes? And I went to quite a few as a child. Uh, I'm not super keen on them now though. I don't think I would choose to go to a pantomime. <laughs> 
question number 28. I'm nearly there guys. It's do you like snow? Uh, I like snow for about five minutes until you actually have to go out somewhere in it. So although we don't get a huge amount of snow in the southwest of England, when we do get it, absolutely no one is prepared for it. It causes chaos and it's usually in March. So it's not exactly the most Christmassy thing ever and it's usually just kind of inconvenient. Maybe I would enjoy it more if the south of England was ever prepared for snow, but it never is. Question number 29 is a very easy one. Do you wear Christmas jumpers? No, I literally don't own one. And the final question on my list is, do you have a favorite Christmas memory? And I thought a lot about this one, but it's that when I was a kid and we used to drive up to my nan's, it was always really magical when I would fall asleep in the back of the car and then my mum would wake me up when we were getting near to my nan's once we were off the motorway to look at all of the Christmas lights on all the houses and it'd be like 11 p.m., way later than I was normally allowed to stay up. And we were just looking at Christmas decorations out the window of the car. And that was when I really felt like Christmas was about to start because we were nearly at my nan's. So that's all the questions from our Christmassy collab. I hope you've enjoyed listening to my answers to those and I will pop the link in the description of where we got those questions from. It's just a blog post from a couple of years ago. As you can see, this spread is almost finished. I'm just filling in my to-do list in the bottom left-hand corner. And this week was pretty good. Uh, it was supposed to be my last full week of work before Christmas, but on Monday, I decided to take Friday off as annual leave because it's all starting to slow down at work now. So there wasn't a huge amount for me to do while I was there. So I figured I'll just have a long weekend. It'll be lush. So yeah, it's been a pretty chill week. Uh, I've really enjoyed getting back into my gym routine. I'm feeling better than I was last week when I was really, really tired. I am so counting counting down the days to my Christmas break now though. It's only three commutes from the time of recording this, three commutes until Christmas. As I'm writing in my focuses for this week, I just want to say thank you so much to Kat for collabing with me on this video and finding the questions because I would never have known where to look for Christmas questions. So I'll have Kat's video linked in the description and up in the cards, so make sure that you go and check out her video after this one. So that's all my pre-planning done for this week, let's take a look at the finished spread. So here's the spread all in full and I absolutely love this kit. It's so pretty. It just screams Christmas at you. I know this Christmas is gonna be a weird one for a lot of us, especially with the announcements that got made in England yesterday. Thanks for leaving it to the last minute, Boris. But I hope this little plan with me has put a Christmassy smile on your face. So that's everything for this week, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. I hope you have a happy and healthy holiday season wherever you are in the world. I'll see you next time. Bye.